what I love most about Greenwich is it's right by the river. We've got this gorgeous park, Greenwich Park. The beautiful architecture here, the ancient architecture, and it's close enough into central London, but far enough away so you away from the hustle and bustle. Anyway, it's a lot of promotion video for Greenwich. I've just lived here 10 years, over 10 years and I love it. Okay, question. Have you ever reached home after a long day at work and you feel terrible? You don't feel like doing anything, even though there are many things you should be doing. If the answer is yes, watch this video. I'm going to share with you one small tweak that can help you reach home in a better state so you can get stuff done. So you've reached home and after a long day at work and you feel awful. You don't feel like doing anything and there are things you should be doing like uh, working on projects, uh, being a better parent, being a better partner, uh, looking after your personal development, learning something. There are many things you know you should be doing but you don't feel like it. You feel terrible. Why is that? Let's roll the tape and see what happens before. So let's unpick what happened there. When you replay your past into your present moment, your journey home, you extract those same emotions you felt in the past into the present moment. You end up reliving the experience in your present, even though it happened hours ago or days ago. Imagine for a moment you've just returned from a two-week holiday, right? You have this great big suitcase, you brought it home, and it's got all of your luggage, all of your clothes from the past two weeks, and you have to go to work the next morning. You wouldn't take that luggage with you the next day or carry it with you into meetings, into your, throughout your week at work. You wouldn't do it, would you? But we're doing a similar thing with our emotional baggage. So we're carrying that emotional baggage from our day we end up reaching home feeling terrible. So what's the alternative? Let's roll the tape. Your life is unfolding in each moment and it's in these micro moments you have all the power you need to cultivate more joy and abundance by noticing the good in and around your life. And the beauty is the more you notice the good, the more good you notice.
Now, I'm not suggesting you become complacent and passive and just be grateful and not change anything in your life. Not at all, far from it. What I am suggesting is when you elevate your energy by counting your blessings instead of your burdens, you will feel more empowered, more inspired and more energized to make the changes you know you need to to live the life you want. Good luck. Thanks for watching. I'm Anise Kizilbash. You're watching Coffee and Wisdom and I'll see you in another episode.